What's up, Packer fans? Welcome into the Pack a Day podcast. I'm your host, Andy Herman. Happy Saturday. I hope you're enjoying your weekend so far. Today, I'm going to be going over part two of some personnel groupings that I'd like the Packers to experiment with or use this upcoming season. If you missed part one, make sure to go back and check out yesterday's episode where I broke down my first five personnel groupings, and I've got five more today that I want to go over. So, why wait? Let's get started right away. Number one on my list today is Aaron Jones at running back, Bobby Tunyon and Jay Sternberger at tight end, and then Devontae Adams and Amari Rogers at wide receiver. And to me, this just screams versatility, right? So one, there's this is kind of like a kitchen sink sort of thing where there's a ton of players who can do a variety of different things, and all of them are good after the catch, right? So Tunyon, Sternberger, Adams, Rogers, Jones, all of them are capable runners after the catch. So if you can get them into space, you have the opportunity for some playmaking ability and to make some big plays, hopefully in the open field. What I like about this is hopefully Jay Sternberger is able to take a jump this upcoming season and and really become the player that Green Bay was hoping that he was going to become. But the the reason I like this is again because you, you know with Matt Lafleur being able to scheme open players and use some of the play actions and rollouts and bootlegs and things like that, a player like Jay Sternberger, if you can get the ball in his hands without him having to do a ton of work, he has the ability to do the work after the catch, right? And that's where I think they can utilize him a little bit more than they have maybe in the last two seasons. The other reasons I like this is again all the different areas that you can use these players. So you can put. Aaron Jones in the backfield. You can put Jay Sternberger as an H-back. We saw him do that his rookie year. Tunyon at tight end. Rodgers and Adams out wide at wide receiver. You can put Tunyon at tight end at one side. Adams at wide receiver on the other with Rodgers in the slot on the other side. You can run power to the right. You can you know throw back slants to the left. You can do a variety of different things in that formation. You can also go basically like a two running back set with Aaron Jones and Amari Rodgers in the backfield. Tony in that tight end with Sternberger and Adams flail, you know, spread out wide. So, so many different unique concepts that you'd be able to run with this. And again, five players that even again, if you want to split all five guys out wide, again, all of a sudden they go smaller. They're thinking, all right, we got two tight ends and we've got a running back in there with Amari Rogers who can do, you know, jet sweeps and motions. This is a running formation. We want to make sure we've got more of a base or big nickel out there. Now, all of a sudden, you spread those guys out wide, and if they've got you know two linebackers and a you know, couple safeties out on the field, or even if you luckily get three linebackers out on the field, now you've got the real opportunity to attack some mismatches, or if they go zone, Aaron Rodgers can pick that apart as well. Again, assuming Aaron Rodgers is there. So uh, this is a formation that I really like that I think Matt LaFleur in this offense could have a ton of success with. Number two on my list, A.J. Dillon at running back, Bobby Tunyon and Mercedes Lewis at tight ends, and then Alan Lazard and MVS at wide receiver. Now on the surface, they may this may not sound like much, right? This is your basic two wide receiver, two tight ends, running back in the backfield. But what I like about this is this is more of a power run formation. Alan Lazard and MVS are two of your best uh, run blocking wide receivers. Um, you've got Tunyon and Lewis at tight end, two of your best blocking tight ends, certainly Lewis. And then you've got AJ Dillon, power running back in the backfield. When people see this, they're going to think it's a tell. All right, AJ Dillon, power running back, not much of a receiver. Mercedes Lewis can't do much as a wide receiver. No Devontae Adams on the field. Alan Lazard, their best run blocking wide receiver. This is a run formation. Even though you're going in two wide receiver, two tight end, one running back formation, this this is a, a running formation. And what I'm hoping for here is you can get generate the shot plays to MVS out of this formation. Run with this a bunch of times. I even want to see MVS motioned in. They've used him as a little bit of like almost like a crack back slash H back type player. You've got Tony and, and uh, Lewis lined up at tight end with Dylan in the backfield now. You know, Lazard comes in to kind of crack back block or, you know, even again, used basically as an H back. Now, all of a sudden, you run that a few times. Now, teams start coming up to the line of scrimmage, making sure that A.J. Dillon's not getting those four, five, six yard runs. Now, all of a sudden, you go play action, shot play everyone. It's a mass protect. Maybe you have, you know, um, you know, maybe you have Tunyon leak out late or something, but this is a shot play to MVS is what you're trying to generate here. And again, you're trying to tell the defense, hey, we don't have Devontae Adams in. We don't have Aaron Jones in. We don't, you know, this is a, this is a running formation. And then as soon as you get those guys pulling up, shot play to MVS over the top. 
Number three on my list, Aaron Jones at running back, Devontae Adams in MVS, and Amari Rogers at wide receiver, and then Bobby Tunyon at tight end. And this to me is just your your overall normal formation, right? Your 11 personnel, but you've got Aaron Jones in the backfield, Adams and MVS out wide with Amari Rogers at, in the slot, and then you've got Tunyon at tight end. And for the most part, run your offense, right? It's, there's there's nothing exotic or sexy, you know, necessarily about this. This is meat and potatoes offense, but now with the addition of Amari Rodgers, again, running those jet sweeps, it's what we saw with Tyler Irvin, but Tyler Irvin couldn't threaten as a wide receiver. Now with Amari Rodgers, you have that. You've got your deep threat in MVS. You've got your slot guy in Amari Rodgers. You've got your overall guy in Devonta Adams, your alpha. You've got Tunyon who can do a little bit of everything. And then you've got Aaron Jones in the backfield who can do a little bit of everything. So I really like this formation. Again, you want to go two running backs in the backfield. You can motion Amari Rodgers, basically put two guys in the backfield. Run, you know, if you go back and listen to my episode yesterday, the very first formation that I talked about, two running back set with a tight end and then two wide receivers out wide and how that can threaten you. MVS has the ability to be that blocking wide receiver. Um, and then you've got, uh, again, Amari Rogers motioning out as the as the wide receiver in that screen with Tunyon as the other blocker. Adams on one side, hand to Aaron Jones. So many different things that you can run out of this formation. Next up on my list is Aaron Jones at running back. Devin Funches, Alan Lazard, MVS, and... Um, Devontae Adams at wide receiver. So four wide receiver set with Funchess, Lazard, MVS, and Adams, and then Aaron Jones in the backfield. And I think, again, what you're looking at here is one, you can just run, you know, basically run and shoot style offense, four wide receivers with Aaron Jones in the backfield. You can also move Aaron Jones out wide. I really also like Adams and MVS out wide, but now you've got Lazard and Funchess basically working as big physical slot players. And you can do a variety of different things where you're you're running basically almost like tight end stuff from them in the inside. Body up, Devin Funches is fantastic at that, just creating space, finding holes in zones. But also Funches and Lazard, two big body wide receivers, if they're in a dime formation, six defensive backs, now you can potentially look at trying to get Aaron Jones out wide. If you if your offensive tackles do their job and you can find a gap outside, now you've got Funches and Lazard blocking on slot wide or, or slot corners, I should say. You, unless you're going against the Jalen Ramseys of the world, that's a mismatch and you can potentially win some of those battles on the second level and hopefully spring a big run for, for Aaron Jones. Can also run a lot of screen action out of this. Again, with you know wide receivers inside like Lazard and Funchess having the ability to block downfield, a lot of different things that you'd be able to accomplish with that formation. And then last but not least, a little bit. Let's let's run some freaking power, right? Let's let's get AJ Dillon the football in some goal line situations. I want to see AJ Dillon at running back. Give me Kenny Clark. Give me Kenny freaking Clark as a big body fullback. Let's run some BJ Raji fullback action here. Give me Kenny Clark. Give me Mercedes Lewis at one tight end. Uh, give me Bobby Tunyon at the other, and give me an extra blocker in there with Ben Braden as well as a sixth offensive lineman. And let's see what teams are able to hold up at the point of attack on the goal line. This isn't your old fashioned, and even if you want to sub some of the offensive linemen, right? You've got Josh Myers, big center in there. Lucas Patrick can move some people, right? You've got Billy Turner at your right tackle, Bakhtiari eventually, hopefully, at left tackle. You know, John Runyon Jr. at left guard. These are guys who can fire off the ball and move some people with now Ben Braden, extra offensive lineman. Mercedes Lewis is like an offensive lineman. You got Tonyan in there. You've got, uh, you know, Kenny Clark is a blocking fullback. You've got AJ Dillon. And then, oh, by the way, you do all this stuff and then you sneak Bobby Tonyan out into the flat or out in the, you know, in the corner route, which they were so good at, you know, disguising that stuff a season ago. Everything's screaming they're going to run the football. Now you got Bobby Tonyan leaking out as, as, as one of those players who can actually, you know, maybe catch the ball uh, as, as a tight end there. But the same thing with Mercedes Lewis. We saw him be a red zone threat. Some play action off of that type of formation could be pretty tempting as well. So uh, as much as all these five wide receivers and these multiple offenses work, at some point you need to be a smash mouth football team, whether that's in the goal line, fourth and short. Give me AJ Dillon against you know this big package of you know brutalizing physical you know offensive players. 
Give me Ben Braden, Mercedes Lewis, Kenny Clark. Give me all of it with A.J. Dillon running behind it. I like my odds of picking up some short yardage situations. And again, the the, the art of misdirection certainly at play there as well. It's going to do it for me today. Again, if you didn't check out yesterday's episode, make sure to check that out for part one. I'll be right back here tomorrow with a brand new episode. Make sure to check out Jason, Mark, and Paul on today's audio version. But until next time, and as always, Go Pack Go.